Yeah, so guys, uh, this is Youth Dialogue, and once again, I bring to you a youth leader for, who is so vibrant and so uh, determined to help us transform the upcoming youths and the Kenyan youths in general. I want you to meet uh, Kimbozi here, a very serious, uh, a very serious member of this country from the uh, western part of this country. Yes, Kimbozi, uh, we just wish to allow you to just introduce yourself so that the people can come to know you. Our youths who normally view our items can know you and yeah. Okay, thank you so much. Uh, my name is Maloba Albert. Uh, Maloba Albert is a brother, a citizen, uh, and above all, uh, a friend to many. I'm former Moi University President and University President Council of Kenya Chairperson, and uh, apparently I'm running for current World MC and Jubilee ticket. Uh, beyond that, there is more about me than uh, what what uh, anyone I uh, think at this young age uh, can do as an introduction, and I believe all that uh, is because of my humility, my mandatory to have self uh, self discipline, determination, and hard work. And so this continues. I keep on be believing that uh, my future is um, is cast on oneself. Uh, way of uh, self-motivation that keeps me going every now and then. Thank you so much. Yeah. Thank you so much, Fimbozi. Yeah, so uh, you heard he's a, a former president of uh, Moi University and also uh, the chair of the Students University Council. Currently, he has just said that he's running for the MCA current ward. And that alone makes you uh, see how uh, vibrant and how determined he is. For those of us who understand current, it's an easy place, the class man. It's a place for only determined people. And uh, you see our, our brother here from uh, Western is, is there, one of the serious aspirants. But that we, we are sure uh, the winning possibility is so high that I'm sure I can always count on him. And so, uh, Albert Maloba, you, you used to be a, a student at Moy and used to be a leader at the same time. Yeah, so, you know, uh, since we want this information to reach youth, and uh, I know the youth of uh, Moy will be watching it, did you manage to balance? Uh, let me say academics and, uh, and the two leadership positions that you are holding. I'll say that uh, most people normally tell me that Maloba is a, a SIM card. That was the most favorite uh, you know, naming that I could hear from people. Some could name me I'm an institution. Yeah. Uh, just basically because, and I could refer that being an institution, I have several departments. Just a normal, I'm a normal human being but I'm able to multitask. What I've always been very, very proud about myself is that I have a mind of a woman, I have a body of a man. Because um, in most cases, on the other side, that's a SIM card. I'm in my SIM card. I, as a person, I'm able to have a lot of things in me that I'm able to accomplish in the right time, in the right way, and in the right order. Because I'm one person who, who admires uh, things to be done in the right way, and that one makes puts me in a difficult situation in, with most of my friends. And uh, in most cases, I've always found challenge yeah. to, to to have around friends who are not very very serious with what they really want to do. Even at the beginning with the academics, as you've named, when I was a student in Moi University, I was at the same time a good performer. Uh, academically, and uh, I always ensure that I have completed my my studies at the right time. I've completed my cuts at the right time. I've sat for my exam in the right time. And since from uh, and since first year when I joined, I've never had something called a supplementary. Yeah. I'm not bragging, but I've never sat in, the, in that class. Yeah. Secondly, I've never sat in a class called retail. Mm -hmm. Thirdly, I've never sat in a class whereby I was pushed by a lecturer. The lecturer told me that you missed this exam, we shall organize for you to have it next time. All my things, despite following most of my, the, 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 doing most of the gifts that God has, uh, uh, has given me, I've never missed out to do what were the first things that took me at that place, sure. which is academics. And this is, uh, goes out to all many youth leaders who are in the universities, who are in different institutions. But wherever you are, you're supposed to always take seriously. First of all, what makes you to be in Kenyatta University, what makes you to be in my university, what makes you to be in University of Nairobi. 
the rest of the things they just come in as um, in a kind way, in a kind way uh, of um, putting your life together that these are the things that you will be in future but you put your first things uh, right priorities. which is uh, priorities i run with schedules yeah i run with time and i also run with in a certain order that i need my things complete at this time and time and that's why uh, i was able to to, to 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 say that i was able to complete even my uh, my campus within the time the new time that were, were given to be in campus and appreciate mo university so much because it gave me an opportunity to learn to even serve as the president that was from the comrades the comrades gave me an opportunity to serve them i campaigned i won the election and i served them later on i became i campaigned amongst the university's presidents of the entire country all public and private universities and they elected me as the chairperson yeah. of the council whereby we uh, we've had our, our, our mentor our patron uh, dr alfred mutua we have had a very possible means of engagement that has never existed before on issues concerning help we were always right on track with the honra boringera we i remember we organized a meet a sitting through upc where we we concluded our matters on, uh, in concerning help because it's a general number one to all learners in yeah. public and private institutions yeah. in Mombasa and when we came all issues were sorted out all the demonstrations that we were leading across the country we just came to realize that we were hitting a wrong office and so the main office is the Ministry of Treasury which supposed to deal with some of these uh, issues of, 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 the, of ensuring that comrades receive their help in time so uh all this uh most of the people will tell you uh, in moyen university some people will tell you that maloba was never always on campus but i'll tell you i was always in myself yeah. there is a point that you can miss out to be to be to be physically with the people but you are always with yourself you are putting yourself in time and everything and i remember you someone was sharing me after our graduation but i remember one time you came to a classroom in from two in from two when the lecturer had just given the card yeah. it was one minute about uh, before she closed the door and you already in yeah. i told her yes i i always kept track of what is happening <laughs> and even when i lettered with that minute I, i i knew i must find myself in and in my mind it was the last cut before we had the main exam yeah. which could have made me maybe not to, 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 to it could have messed me up yeah. of course with many issues that come along with graduation in, many, in most campuses so i would say that um, as leaders and to all the student leaders who are out here balancing it so good and then when you also look at our constitution of moyo university students organization where i happen to serve that we always had standards for student leaders a student leader must be able to score 60% plus to be cleared to run for office and that one will um, give confidence to the administration that we are putting the students are going to elect a right person who is going to to be a, to, to to be a pivot of balance within But between his la, his leadership yeah. and academics exactly. so we were exactly. i was able to swing in between Thank you so much Kimbozi. So you've had uh Kimbozi Albert Maloba has just confirmed to us that it is possible to balance uh academics and leadership. It only needs a well laid down program and uh, a plan. You've also had him say that there's this time that uh, uh an impromptu cut was given and then it was a surprise to many that no you've not been coming to classes then how did you make it? for this cut you know but he still could manage to leave the, the other commitments and run for the cut that tells us a lot that even as leaders we should not forget our priorities the things that took us the number one thing that took us today to the school for studies thanks so much because in the because the uh, research show that you are from western but currently you are running in karen you are running for mca in karen mod uh, what is this motivating factor that makes you think that you can transform karen and uh, not go back to western Yeah because at the end of the day we normally study 
so that we can go back and transform our society. Yeah, I tell you from where we are born, you know, uh, from where we were brought up, and uh, to just to change a lot of things. But how comes you are in, in Nairobi and uh, aspiring to buy in Karen? What is this motivational factor? Uh, first of all, Maloba ni, Maloba ni Kijana wa Kanairo. Uh, I was born in... Just a minute, just a minute. Come. Yeah. Okay, uh, Maloba ni Kijana wa Kanairo. Uh, I was born in Busia. I've lived in a normal village boy life. Uh, at my younger age, between between birth uh, and um, at a period when I was joining my high school. And uh, we were always in Nairobi, but over the holidays, we sh we, it was a must that we must be at home in the village to experience the real struggle, the real life, going to the borehole with a bicycle, coming back, uh, and even me training to know how to ride a bicycle, I did it with the, the Black village. Mamba back at home in the yeah, village yeah. With, with with the local, with our local fellow girls, with men, with, with boys. That was the livelihood that I really enjoyed so much, and I appreciate my parents for that. And so it was always a balance that over the holidays we must go back home, we must go to the shamba, we must be shown this is your buka, this is your show and all that to interact. So I'm one person who is well built in terms of uh, family and I think by the grace of God I'll be able to to do to to, to reciprocate the same yeah. to my to my family. Yeah. Just yes, because uh, I was I, I was brought up well. Uh, knowing people, you know, those are some of the factors of African culture. Mm -hmm. uh, to know people, to live with people well, and to understand the needs of the people. So, after all that, having also stayed here in Nairobi, in Karen, I, I said that uh, there is high possibility for me to, 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 to lead my people, to lead the people of Nairobi. Not only the people, but especially the youth, because mm. I, I, I am a youth. And why not at home? Is because we, when we look at our constitution, it allows us actually to, to even run in, in every part of the country, as long as you are a Kenyan citizen. So that closes the chapter of why, why not home and why Nairobi. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> and most of the people even who are running in Nairobi, it's not that the, some or most of them, they were born and raised in here. Nairobi, yeah. yeah. In, even Babu Owino, uh, my friend, was not born and raised here. Yeah, he was born and raised in Kisumu. He used to go for holidays from Kisumu to Kisumu, but he's now a leader in Mbakasi. Yeah. But having said that, I, I look at Karen Ward as a, as a chance that uh, uh, the people themselves, they scouted around, they wanted a leader. They themselves, the people, the Karenites, and they, they looked for me. I was identified. Yeah. And we had a meeting with a group of uh, Karen elders, the mothers of Karen, young people. And in fact, if you are, if you are very keen, you have followed my social media, you have seen the endorsements that I've always been receiving here and there that from them. And um, their main point was that they need leadership that will change Karen. Issues that uh, are found in Karen, uh, unlike, other, uh, unlike other words, they are slightly different. They're slightly different because the issues there are based on issues such as security, lack of uh, clean water, it is the C1. They are, they are critical issues based on the livelihood that is within. But not forgetting that also in current, we have actually slums. Oh, yeah. uh, we have some slums in current. We have people, our young mothers, single mothers who are there uh, trying to make ends meet by working for people. And uh, I said, I must, we must sit down and make a transformative leadership come 2022. Uh, having had a leader in Karen who has never had the interest of the people at heart. And so I said, let's sit down, let's prepare our agenda as we get into the office. With the people, by the people, for the people. And one of the key factors that they said they need a network within each other in current to create job opportunities 
employability for the youth that are in current uh, to, 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 to solve family problems that are within also uh, in many households uh, related to related to stereotyping in terms of uh, they are, we have the rich and the haves and the haves not which is not really the the case that should be you want to bridge the gap between yes the, to bridge yeah, the, the gap social classes. yes the social class issue yeah. and so in most cases but they will tell somebody that when you know nadani karen kuna pesa yeah but uh, karen hakuna pesa uh, the people it has been the norm right? it has been the norm uh, the people have good there are some people who have good spending uh, power but uh, you will find that even the people who have businesses around mm. the people in business communities they are not making as much fortune as somebody who is in Eastland. So uh, just basically there is an assumption from the people that in Karen there is a lot of money. No, there are a lot of issues to be solved from bursaries, from people who was, uh, from the families in the, in, the, in, the, in the slums, single mothers who are there raising, trying to raise up their children. They need also to go in good schools, just as others uh, who are in good schools. And that's where I came in. Tell them, look, my people want to come up with Karen World Foundation. Yeah, Karen World Foundation. Yes, uh, Karen Foundation, which is a very brilliant idea. In that foundation, we shall be able to be having a people of goodwill contributing to help the needy people around to get good education, to facilitate security within Karen. We want to have a Karen, a dream Karen, because number Karen is a, is a cream de la cream of all words. We are when we look at the numbers of words that we have in the country. Actually, the current is the mightiest. It's supposed to be at the top, but when you look at the standards of leadership that have always been having, they do not meet those standards. The, 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 I'm talking about the the, the the person who comes in, the, the leader who comes in as a leader, must also be able to to meet the standards of the needs of uh, the, the standards of the needs of current in terms of seeing everyone equally creating opportunities, bringing people together, looking for solutions. Besides the current, we have even issues at Unata chose a canto. The county government of Nairobi has forgotten that current is part of the wards in Nairobi. He's never do some of these things even at current town, Hadi and other places. They are not there. Remember Karen is just one of the largest wards in, 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 in this country. Yeah, in this country. And, and and it takes a toll order the, for, for for, for somebody just to do a project to implement and i think it has been happening so be, just because we have a leadership that does not seek uh, further networks that does not seek uh, interpretation real interpretation of what devolution is as per in uh, 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 as, in, as in enshrined in our constitution yeah. following up steps of the of, of the devolution process at the world level issues of governance, what the national government should do. Somebody comes in in the world, creates or his own votes or her own votes from other areas. Akisha ingi andani, hana kitochote ambacho anataka kufanyia watu wakari. So those are some of the issues that we want to break and say that we want to focus on the issues that we the challenges that we are facing as a world because that is the basic unit finding solutions as a leader to the people exactly thank you so much uh Chiongozi albert maloba you hearing uh albert maloba is uh, disputing the fact that uh you that uh, since he's from maybe western he had to buy this and saying that uh the constitution allows uh uh, uh every member of this country so long as you are, you are a member of this country can buy in whichever part of the interest and then he has also said that he was it was a uh, uh brought up in current and he has uh, experienced almost all the problems that people in, in current world have encountered and that's why he has been seeing these things while he's out of office and now he wants to get to office that he can transform uh, the, uh, the the uh, the world uh, in his capacity as the MCA thank you so much for that and so um Kingozi, I, yeah and so Kingozi, there's this question yeah as much as you are um, uh, an aspirant in the, in the, in the, in the current world which is very, very important. We can't dispute that. And uh, we appreciate that as youths, that at least there's our representatives. You know, as much as you're buying in current world, even as youths, you're feeling represented. You know, it is easier for me to reach out to you as a fellow youth. 
than reaching out to someone who is uh, as an elderly. Yeah, and we thank God for that. But um, what is your take on youths? Like, you know, uh, uh, the, the youths are feeling like a uh, majority of youths, not all youths. Some of them are feeling like, like uh, there have been uh, this status quo existing that there's, there's the, the dominance of the elderly in mother's politics, mother's governance. And I know realize that a lot of youths are not uh, willing to take part in mother's uh, politics, in mother's uh, governance. Uh, what would you say to youths? You know, we want them to be part of this. How can we tell them to be part of this that they, they, they don't feel left out? You know, one thing I'll tell you, my, my good friend, is that youth have never realized their value. We form 75% of the population in this country. Yeah. Every leader at the top is talking about uh, involving the youth as a priority. But is that person a youth? When you look at Nairobi County, uh, we don't have a youth budget. Two, we don't have even a youth policy. Those are two key things that anybody should look at them and say there is need to have a youth who is going to help us implement some of these issues. When you look at pol our political parties, they have been framed and shared in a way that they don't want to, to, to put people who will be able to, do, to implement some of these things. Very few parties, and I really appreciate my party Jubilee because they are reception towards what I need to do, especially for the youth of Nairobi and the majority. Uh, most of the people who have even supported me in my campaigns are the youth. And I remember, out of the many universities we even have in current, we will have almost to a close of eight universities. Multimedia, African Nazarene Cooperative, Maris, and all that, Tangaza. They all agreed to rally behind me to help find solutions to some of the challenges that they are facing, issues of insecurity and DTC. Um, and I've seeked partners even for them. Yeah. One of the great things they are going to enjoy, and this is not PR by the way, yeah. they are all going to be to be getting a free gas cylinder filling that from the ward. Yes, the ward. all the comrades who are registered voters from current ward, they are going to be getting free refilling of the gas cylinders at the end of every at the beginning of every semester at the end of the semester they br they bring the gas cylinders we shall create a space where they will be bringing the gas cylinders because most of them even those who stay around and they stay in slum those who stay outside the coastal they have claimed issues of insecurities and all that and i say the first thing nitumbo yeah comrade is safe told them I'll be ensuring that you as a voter you get this at the beginning of every semester. When you finish your se when you begin your semester you, you bring it is refilled. Two, there are bursaries for learners and the voters in current. I want to see their their value. I want them to get the value of participating as uh, electorates in current. Yeah. And as youth also to part to their value of participating as voters within current. Because the only way that I can reward them is to provide with them some of these basic issues. Very important. Uh, yeah. We have the World Fund that is supposed to do a lot of development. We don't have clear roads in some areas in current. We have issues with security. There are some areas where we don't have even security lights. Some of these issues are the things that we uh, have put priority in my leadership. And even some of them, they gave me that they, when I get in, they must get one leader who will be in that world. Uh, the youth representative in, in my committee. Yeah. Something that I receive very, very well, and I think that will be one part of empowering them. And what I can tell majority of the youth in this country that look beyond uh, being a goon of a, of a politician, being a blogger of a politician, just mm -hmm. for a today's 500, just for a tomorrow's 2000 fare from here to Mombasa, and then you there is nothing in contact that you are really gaining. At the end of uh, at the end of, of the five years that this person is going to be in leadership, actually in some in some way it's, it seems like this person has been preparing funds to come and buy you, to come and buy your vote. So it's time that every person should look at what is happening our election year period, especially the youth, very keenly. And where there is your fellow your fellow youth aspirant or a leader, 
I just ask you over a little thing that please support this. Uh, thank you so much. With or without handout. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thanks so much, Kungusi Albert uh, Maloba. Albert Maloba is saying that the youths are the majority. In fact, the latest demographic uh, uh, statistics shows that we form 75% of the population of this country. Is it so? Yeah. yeah. So uh, that's why he's uh, trying to encourage us that our participation in these matters of governance is very, very important. And you see, the youths of current world, uh, the comrades that are there, you guys are so lucky. Kiongozi here is saying that there will be a refill of gas at the beginning of every semester for free. But gas cylinder at now is at around fifteen hundred shillings. And Kiongozi is promising that all the comrades there will be a refill of gas at the beginning of every semester. That is so good. That is so good. Very very important. Comrade Lazimu Ashibi and Yawafkiriye Masomo India. Exactly. Thank you so much. He has also reminded us of a very, very important thing. Chongoze said so well that let us uh, uh, run uh, be, be behind, let us rally behind our youth aspirants in whichever positions they're going for and support them uh, uh, with our capability to the level best we can, with, with or without handouts, because the youths have to be represented. Thank you so much. Now, there's this notion that has been going even as we head to our finishing. There's this uh, notion that has been going currently. I don't know if it has reached you, but a uh, majority of the youths are saying that we want the deputy governors, mm. the deputy governors, the running mates, to be the youths. Yeah, we want the deputy governors to be the youths. I don't know, what is your take on this? What is your take on this? Do you also support uh, this notion that at least the governors should take the people who are at the bracket of the youths to be their deputies? to deputize them, so that all the youths can also be represented. Well, uh, you know, first of all, when we talk about youth in leadership, one thing that I normally challenge most of our youth is that uh, for you to, to claim for something, especially a higher position, yeah. you must be able to fit in that, in that fit very well. You must be able to lazima to share kwa hiyo kwa hiyo kit vizuri. Yeah. Some of our youth even in leadership I'll, I'll, I'll tell you that they never work hard to ensure that they are able even to fit to some to fit in some of these positions. When I looked around at my level and experience in leadership, I, not that I demeaned myself. I looked at myself and said that the best I can be able to serve is an MCA. As I grow, then in the developing leadership, then next time I can be able to run for a member of parliament, move in progressively to higher levels. Uh, because I'm one person who, who believes in development. Yeah, yeah. Uh, you cannot expect me to run for presidency today when actually I don't have that capacity experience of national, of, 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 of entire uh, national and international network yeah. that deserve that position. So I would say that it, it's, it's a very good, it's a very good idea that they that most youth have actually. We have seen this in, in uh, I think in Kajiado, yeah. where the is, is it Kajiado or Narok, where the deputy governor is a, was a youth, yeah. yeah. And um, that is something that gave motivation to most youth. And when we look at where now we are headed in terms of uh, in terms of uh, politics and nurturing and all that, actually most of youth need also to nurture themselves. I remember there are times I could travel from here to seeking networks globally, attending leadership conferences just to build on myself and my leadership so that I can become more formidable. I become more formidable in terms of matters leadership. Apart from just being a youth, it's never about that. Give a noisemaker an office in terms of his popularity as a youth leader and see what he can be able to do. And give an office to someone who has nurtured, who has six network, who knows what leadership is. Aingie kwa ofisi na uone tofauti. Utatambua ya kwamba kweli leadership is also a cause on its own. It's a degree on its own. 
that you must acquire. You must begin with certificate, mm -hmm. diploma, degree, PhD, etc. And that's what we need. So as far as we demand for some of these positions, the deputy governors and all that, we are supposed to look at leaders who have been able to reach those standards that they can be appreciated with some of these positions. We just know, we just don't expect that any youth person then can go and run an office for the people uh, just because in the name of youth. And uh, that's where I challenge most of my youth. Exactly. You are running for office, you are demanding for an office. Are you that capable? You are, yeah, that your qualifications as a person, your integrity level. It is you. Unajua kitu ambayo inakosanisha vijana wengi sana ni integrity. Kijana saizi hata mkitoka hapa mkutano ukifatia mtu shilingi elfu shirini ya enda agawa wenzake wa misumama pale. Within the distance of 20 meters, what will arrive to the rest of the, the vijana is is not what you have given here. Given out, yeah, yeah. Sure. And you will hear there was chaos and everything after you had left. So your integrity must come first as a youth leader before even your discussion about having been given a chance at the table. And some of these chances at the table actually, you, there is nothing like uh, we need a chance at the table. You carry your chair, you bring it out the table. You push those elders and those other people who are at the table away and you take center. Look at a young person of South Africa, Julius Malema. He's, he's growing in youth leader. He's growing as a youth leader just because he has brought himself to the table, the table yeah. and he's putting himself as part of the as part of the discussion not to be discussed about that what can we go and do for them but you're discussing what we are going to do for ourselves and the rest exactly thank you so much Chongozi. yeah uh Chongozi albert Mal Ma uh, malova is just confirming here that you have to create your position as a youth you have to create your position before you even think of going for your given position have you created that position are you capable uh, have you like looked at yourself have you sought yourself and uh, realized that you are capable of getting to that uh, particular position thank you so much for that insight yeah, yeah so uh just uh in uh, parting shots parting shots um uh, it this has been a very, a very good engagement we cannot uh we cannot take it for granted can take it for granted our main uh, objective as youth stream dialogue is just to impart youths out there just to give the, the the warnings where necessary to, to give the cautions where necessary so that the youth can take precautions you know currently the country is headed to uh electionary periods yeah. and the youth being the majority they are the most vulnerable yeah. they, are the, they are the most that can easily be, be used if they're not careful mm -hmm. at the same time they should making relies on these youths mm -hmm. if they active if they participate so well they'll give us the best government that we need mm -hmm. and thank you so much for the insight that you've given to them so even as you leave just uh, in, in one minute, just parting shot, and you can also tell us where we can always find you, uh, your platforms, the uh, social media platforms, and how these youths can reach out to you. Yeah, I know there's a youth here maybe who will have watched and listened to it, and uh, would wish to reach out to you. Okay, yeah. uh, very well. Um, let me begin first on uh, with, uh, with what I can tell fellow youth that opportunity comes to the prepared minds yeah when we began our our, our election year period it began around last year an active one mm -hmm. we were a group of many youth who are to run for office i'm telling you as we stand now in nairobi in that in that cocoon of youth who are running for positions i think um, for lack of a better word i'm the most or I'm the only one who is now remaining in the, in the, in the running for office. I don't know if you can be a UDA. Mwana wamepangwa. Wametolewa. They are now no longer going to run for office directly. Uh, my friend Karen Nyamu uh, and the rest, you have seen even MCJs are youth. They are now not going to run for office directly. Uh, on this other end of Vazmio, uh, I, I heard many, many people. Whom I, whom, when, whom I would love even to mention here, but when I mention them here, it, of course, they are very close friends. <laughs> yeah. Na Kosana. Na tulikulian safari wengi. Na saizi my friend. Na sikia tu ni maloba peke yaka mebaki pali. Wale wengine wanatafuta tu corridors za, za kuingia kwa leadership. But not directly. 
confidence kitu naitwa ujasiri kwa vijana haiko wengi wanatamani lakini hawana ujasiri if youth could have something called ujasiri fighting to your last sweat it would really take us far. consistency most of us we just want to to appear in, in suits around to mm. try to look like uh, we, we are looking for something but actually they are not looking for something they are looking to be given something <laughs> what i will encourage most of them mm. please for those of us who have remained in the race call us even give us emotional psychological physical support mm. talk to us tell us how can i help you mm. today hata shilingi 20 ukinipatia hapa you might think that it will be a very uh, little money but in my campaigns i read somewhere somebody is requesting for that even 50 shillings mm. for a cup of tea sure it's that money that i support this person with. and it will be part of uh, campaigns in, in for lack of better words and so i will urge our youth tafadhali when you choose to come out for for political position kwa na ujasiri go to the last end and do not listen to naysayers that oh you cannot you of course politically it comes with its own decisions and what happens in the boardrooms but try to go to the last and that's why maloba albert have said i'm going to the last i must be on that ballot ballot paper and people must elect me exactly. i want to see the public opinion about me and they must i know so far during our campaigns and everything and our and our polls right now they are showing clearly that i'm the next current old mca wow uh, both from the elderly the, the youth and all cutting across wow kwanza wazee ndio wame impress sana atakushinda vijana wow yeah wazee wengi wakiniona wanasema kijana wetu amefika mm. lakini vijana wakiniona wanaangalia pombe wanaangalia chakula and all that <laughs> lakini wazee wananiona wanasema kijana wetu amefika kwa kijana wetu eh, chakula ikiwa kijana wetu mafuta kwa gari nikikutana exactly. kwa petrol stations exactly. see there is the reverse actually with the youth sometimes it shocks me you get the reverse reception the youth in Canada yeah, they, the youth uh, they want to exploit from oh, their village oh. but the the elderly want to support the youth now wow, wow. unachanganyikiwa <laughs> nasema kwani siko Kenya na and, and of course we move on so in current the narrative the, the narrative is different the narrative is different actually the elderly are the ones who are seeing oh, opportunity in me wow. to support my candidate but the youth they are seeing that it's an opportunity to exploit, eat, to exploit their <laughs> fellow youth and i don't blame them for that yeah, yeah. Uh, i would i would then say that uh, just as you mentioned in terms of uh, political period or i call upon all youth to, to to maintain peace yeah politics is a season it's an experience it comes and go tomorrow you'll see remain my neighbor let us rem- let us uh, constrain ourselves from uh, being used during a special this nomination period or any time to cause chaos because you still need me i need you and uh, uh, we need each other to stay in harmony just as our national anthem gives us uh, that stanza your last question was on uh, the platforms where they can find the you. platforms where you can find me yeah. on facebook i'm albert maloba on twitter i'm albert maloba Uh, I'm here to join Instagram. <laughs> But uh, uh, on the two anywhere search me on Google Albert Maloba. Everywhere Albert Maloba. Those are my my names. Tafuta mimi pale tupatane tuzungumze. Mimi bado ni youth I have time to engage you or responses and uh, inquiries that you might need to know. I also do mentorship by the way. Uh, I'm also in business. I, I, I have a branding company. Uh, I'm also into Italy business. Uh, right in Karen, I have some few uh, Italians that are running. Uh, and so when I'm joining politics, somebody should not anticipate that maybe uh, I'm a job seeker. I'm not yeah. one of those job seekers, uh, youth job seekers in, in politics. I'm one of the people who want to create reforms, who want to bring change. Thank you and so, so with the reason I have, I believe that inshallah Mungu ni amenipatia na ile ambayo natafuta kusaidia wengine 
kwa sababu mimi I've always been uh, somebody who have, uh, 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 who have looked at myself there is something I can do for someone else yeah. and uh, that which I'm looking for to to have is to assist others not to assist my, myself wengine wanasema what vijana wengine wanatafuta hadithi ambazo zinaitwa tumbo kubwa na hadithi nyinginezo mimi sitafuti tumbo kubwa mimi natafuta uongozi kubwa ya kusaidia wengine ili so kwa wainuke i am very sure that when i become the current what they say I'll, i'll motivate many youth exactly who have always yearned to go for this leadership in nairobi and i i, I think even my party Jubilee party should consider me for the ticket uh, of, of current ward in Jubilee because I've popularized my candidature I have the numbers I, during the voter registration I registered over 3000 youth uh, I have locals around who have, who, have, who have also been supporting me in my campaigns so I have around 6000 and you only look at the scale of uh, last win uh, the last election yeah. MCA in current you get you get in with around 6000 so we have the numbers and the numbers never lie yeah. so this is an issue that is supposed to understand and say that let's front him. let's give him the ticket and I'll bring this position not only to jubilee party but to the youth and to this country and motivate and empower many youth and especially even our elderly and the people with special needs in our in our world and the country thank you so much yeah. thanks so much so uh kongozi albert maloba just confirms that he deserves the jubilee ticket uh, for mca award current because he has done uh, almost everything that uh, pertains to getting that particular ticket yeah so this was youth some dialogue guys uh will always bring to you the youths uh, who are so impactful to uh, you people and to our youths outside there we encourage you to continue agreeing our, our items and our uh, products that we'll be bringing to you guys here in this youth some dialogue thank you so much for uh, co- for continuously supporting us and may god bless you till next time Asante sana kwa sasa. Yeah, thank you for that exclusive interview. Thank you so much. Yeah. Thank you.